This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Boy my viewers and subscribers I have some good news Where West Indies cricket is concerned yeah man, believe it or not, some good news where West Indies cricket is concerned. So just give a listening ear. Now, boy, my viewers and subscribers, even years after they would have stopped playing cricket for West Indies, we still have a couple of um former cricketers that are making us as West Indies supporters proud. Yeah man, I'm talking about Constantine and Desmond Haynes. Yeah man, yesterday they were inducted into the ICC Hall of Fame. Yeah man, the Constantine and Desmond Haynes inducted into the ICC Hall of Fame. So, you know, that was a proud moment yesterday for, for West Indies cricket. And as you can imagine, my viewers and subscribers, I, I wouldn't have seen these guys live. I wouldn't have gotten an opportunity to watch them while they were playing. Yeah, man, but, you know, um, the internet is dear, so I, I, I am aware of who these guys are. And I most definitely appreciate what they would have done for West Indies cricket. Yeah, man, both both of them, you know, one of them would have been there from the from the early, early stages of West Indies cricket. And then, you know, Desmond Haynes, he was one of the the, 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 the best openers that we, we, we would have produced. You're going to hear some more about them. As I go further down my viewers and subscribers. But I really appreciate the work that these guys would have done for, the, for West Indies cricket early on. Even though I wouldn't have gotten an opportunity to see them um, while they were live. Now, Constantine, my viewers and subscribers, as most of my listeners uh, would probably know. You know, he was an all-rounder. Yeah, man, he was an all-rounder. Somebody that was able to go to bowl good pace and was also a good batsman. And he was electric in the field, based on what I am gathering. Yeah, man. So um, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, Mr. Constantine first before we go down into Desmond Haynes. No, he was an important member of the of the West Indies team. You know, in the 1928 when we first uh, toured England. Yeah, man. So he you can call it that boy. He was a pioneer, or he's a pioneer of West Indies cricket. So this is a man that. Boy is always going to be well respected by 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 cricket loving fans. Once you are a, you are a, you are a person that support West Indies cricket and you understand the importance of um, of our history, you are always going to going to be be you know fond of this guy. Now, just a little bit more about him. As I said earlier, I was an all rounder. He played eighteen Test matches. Yeah, man. And he, as I said, guys, he was well respected in the Caribbean and also. On a wider scale, we're talking about worldwide. He was a um, he was very much res respected by his own people and also cricket loving fans in the wider part of the world. So yeah, man, shout out to Constantine's family. Yeah, man, because I don't know that this must be a proud moment for them right now. And as we all know, my, my viewers and subscribers, the next person, this man Haynes. Yeah, man, in his time. Boy, I want to tell you, I, I didn't get a chance to see him, but he was one of the better um, bats, opening batsmen going around, you know, then. Um, not only where West Indies cricket is concerned, but when you're talking about international cricket, yeah, man, he was one of those top man around, around the place, you understand? So, very nice to see Desmond Haynes being, being inducted into the ICC uh, Hall of Fame. Yeah, man, and, and we all know that ICC is short for International Cricket Council. So very nice to see two of our, 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 our past greats being inducted into this Hall of Fame. Yeah, man, and uh, where Desmond Haynes is concerned, my viewers and subscribers, he was part of the famous um, conquering team, you know, that team with Clive Lloyd, Viv Richards, um, and all of those top guys. Yeah, man, we, 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 we're talking about a man that was very, very outstanding at the top of the order, at the top of the, 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 the lineup, you understand? Yeah, man, himself and Garden Greenwich, those were two guys that really did some work for us at the top of the order when we were the all-conquering team. So, very, very good to see that Desmond Haynes, you know, would have, would have gotten an opportunity to be inducted 
into the ICC Hall of Fame. So shout out to to all of the Ian's family, you know. Not only the Ian's family because he, you know, he, this man Ian's now only belong to you know. Yeah, man, he, he belongs to all of us that support West Indies cricket. So we are indeed proud. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers. So you don't know that go already. And um, as I said, guys, I wouldn't have got an opportunity to see them, but I definitely um you know appreciate all the work that they would have done and as i said desmond haynes as you as you know was a member of that 1979 world cup team and he also played come down some you know played a good amount of cricket for us i have a couple of stats here that i will give you guys um just to to, to sort of remind you to refresh your memory of the work that Desmond Haynes would have done for us. We are talking about uh, 116 test matches, scoring 7,487 runs, scoring 18 centuries, you know, with an average of 42.3. Find it very, very hard these days to get a West Indies batsman averaging in the 40s. You understand? Everybody we see out there averaging in, in, in the 30s and all of that. You know, they the only man with a good average. Where West Indies cricket is concerned is probably Shea Hope and that is in ODI cricket where he's averaging in the early 50s. But especially test cricket, you don't have anybody averaging um, with no good average. You understand? So um, a man that would have, would have scored 18 centuries, you know, would have, would have managed to, to play over 100 and had test matches. At a, and, and maintain an average of 42.3 so we know that you know he, he would have done some damage at the top of the order for us so yeah man we are extremely proud of this man Ian's achievement right now when when we are talking about one day internationals my viewers and subscribers this man Ian's he actually played 238 matches based on, on, on the information that I am seeing here and he would have scored over 8648 runs yeah man and and within those runs he had 17 centuries so we're talking about a cricketer that was very good in both formats not somebody that, that you know that was just playing one one format of cricket eight we're talking about 18 centuries in test and you know 17 in odi cricket so the, the man was consistent in both uh both both format of cricket you know, back then we didn't have the T20 cricket and all of that. So we, we are definitely we are definitely happy to, to, to be associated with these guys. You understand? People that were that used to play cricket with passion. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, they, they, I mean they, they weren't able to make that amount the, the amount of money these guys are making now and, and being able to, to, to sport all of these luxury and things. But yeah man, those guys were actually putting the the, the you know, they, they were actually putting the, the runs on the board and, and then the bowlers were taking wickets. So you find that, boy, we had a complete team, a good team, a, a conquering team. So, yeah, man, we want to say shout out to, to Desmond Ains once again. And, I mean, we, we, are, we, we see where a couple of persons have been sending out their, their tributes, you know, saying that, boy, they, they are proud of them. And as per usual, the men in the jacket and the tie, they are always going to come out when, when in times like these to sort of show that they, that they are there and, you know, as if they are a part of it. So we saw where CWR president Ricky Skerritt, he, he came out and, you know, he gave his tribute saying that, boy, right now where this man is, is concerned and, and, and uh, Mr. Constantine, they would have done very well for wasting this cricket and it is indeed a honor to speak about them. You understand? So, yeah, man, Mr. Scary him come out and, and come and give him two cents. But, yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, we are really happy to be associated with these guys. And, um, as I said, it's a proud moment for West Indies cricket. You know, you know, not very often we can, we can, we can hold our heads up these days and say, boy, boy, um, you know, something, something good is happening where our cricket is concerned. And even though it's happening here in the, in, in 2021, it, you know, it, it, it has something to do with guys who would have retired years, years ago. You understand? So, boy, we, we, we basically living off the name of those guys still. Yeah, man. And, and just to let you all know, you know, my viewers and subscribers, these two will, will add to, to a long list of West Indies cricketers that would have been, that would have been inducted 
into the ICC Hall of Fame. I, I, I won't be able to read to, to read or to call out everybody's name right now, but I'm just going to give you a couple of the popular ones. We're talking about Sir Curtly Ambrose, Joel Garner, a.k.a. Big Bird, Lance Gibbs, you know, our, our leg spinner back then. We're talking about Gordon Greenwich, yeah, man, that was the, the, the opener that I had alluded to earlier that that you was to go out there and, and deal with the case with Desmond with Desmond Ian's you know so we, we hear about the Greenwich and Ian's and we hear about the Greenwich and Ian's stand you understand so yeah man and, and we're talking about Wizard also Brian Charles Lara talking about um you know the, these guys a lot a lot of them a whole lot of them my viewers and subscribers would have managed to make um would have managed to make this ICC uh, you know, Hall of Fame. So we are really happy to know that we have managed to to to, to get two more inductee in there. You understand? And boy, I don't know my viewers and subscribers, but you know I'm going to joy to, to what is happening now where our cricket is concerned. I, I am here sitting down and I am pondering and wondering in the next uh, 10, 15 years when it is time to go again, are we going to be, not, not even say 10, 15 years, in the next 30, 40 years, from now are we going to be able to 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 see anybody from this current era be inducted into that hall of fame because probably next uh maybe the next you know in the next five to ten years from now a couple of persons that would have retired you know would would get a chance to probably be inducted you know we don't who to tell i don't i, I, I don't i don't think shivner and shandopal is there is a possibility that he might be inducted and and thing you know so we have a couple of people but when you're talking about maybe 15 20 years from now these current crop of players when they would have finished their careers and you know are are, are laying laying back and and you know just watching cricket are they going to hear their their names being mentioned in or amongst these type of things that is the question that we need to ask ourselves and i based on what is happening now i can't see any of our current cricketers that will 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 you know that will 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 get an opportunity to be inducted like that because they are not putting up the numbers and i don't want people to say that boy based on the era the era is different because you know cricketers are not playing are not um sticking around to bat that long again not no go so because we still have modern day cricketers that are putting up the numbers, piling up the numbers. When you look at people like Steve Smith, when you look at people like Virat Kohli, when you look at um, the New Zealand Test captain, you know we we were talking about Kane Williamson. All these guys, when we, when we, if we should look if we should look over and uh, where bowling is concerned, a lot of you, a lot of these these nowadays cricketers are they are sticking up their hands to say that boy, you know, 15, 20 years from now their names will be mentioned also. You know, if we're talking about bowlers, look at Dale Steen, look at Jimmy Anderson, look at Stuart Broad. These are all guys that are that are doing doing some work. I mean, we have a, we have we have our own Kemar Roach that would have taken, you know, he would have gone on to take over 200 Test wickets, um, 200 wickets. But I doubt, I doubt, I doubt he will be in the mix like that. You know, because and it's not because of talent, but you know, he is somebody that would have picked up a lot of injuries and things and he wouldn't have gotten an opportunity to play a good amount of cricket. But if you if you should match up his numbers alongside the numbers like James Anderson, Stuart Broad and all of these guys, then you will see exactly what I'm saying, that I'm not being biased. But I am going to finish ranting right now. I'm not even going to curse them, you know, because we, we, we spend a lot of time on curse them the other day. So um this video is just to big up um, you know, the the, the family of, of, of Mr. Constantine and, and also got, um you know Mr. 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 Desmond Ains. You understand? Cause at the end of the day, guys, um they would have put in the work over the over the years. And it's it's very good to see that they are being rewarded with something like this. You understand my viewers and subscribers. Um, just like all other players try to get on the on the on the on the Hannah, Hannah board, Hannah's board over there at Lords, you know, we can say this is something that a lot of retired cricketers would like to get on. And we we once again would have gotten the opportunity to see two of our, our former players being inducted into the ICC Hall of Fame. You understand my viewers and subscribers? So just go down in the comment section and let me know what you all think about this. Um, in the in the next ten to fifteen years, will we get a chance to see any of our current cricketers being inducted into the into the ICC Hall of Fame? Sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.